How hey. Hey. we are the normies, and uh, you guys voted that this is the movie that we watch. Yeah. Hey. 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 A classic. My, yeah. favorite My favorite one. Christmas movie. Who hasn't seen it? Um, I haven't. It's we, no jingle all the way. I'm just kidding. Are That's you a That was a good one too, boy. It's a joke. It's a joke. I do not believe he's watched it or not at this point. <laughs> no, like, we've all watched this together at a quarterly meeting before. Oh, yeah. We watched the first one and then the next meeting we watched this one. But this movie never gets old. I was I there? What? Yes, Ooh, you were. I don't know if you were there. See, no, I was in Kentucky. Well, I think you were there. How did this happen? We, it like definitely happened because I remember we were laughing at the... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we do just reference that scene all the time. That's because it's hilarious. Oh, wow. He dies. <laughs> you voted on this. You voted on Home Alone one last year, and yes. even though everybody also saw it last year, you still enjoyed the reaction. So it's just hanging out with us, Christmas tradition, just watching Home Alone. Yeah, too. you know, you could have seen the new, 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 new one. I'm out of here. Yeah. Wait, his brother's in it? No, no, it's not. Is he? Yeah, McAllister's brother. What's his name? Buzz. 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 Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a cop in it. That's not enough. No, we're not doing that. No, no. I thought you meant Macaulay. <laughs> thought you meant Macaulay Culkin's <laughs> actual brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a cop in it. Yeah, he's yeah. a cop in it. It's yeah. of course Buzz plays a cop. Come on. From Buzz. Bully to Cop. Hey guys, off tops. We're excited to watch it. You already yeah. know what it is. Merry Christmas and all that jazz. You know, enjoy it. Happy Hanukkah and have a crazy Kwanzaa. But this ain't no market substitute. Make sure you support the OG content. Also, feel free to support the content over on the Normies channel. Cause supporting us over on Patreon. Means you get uncut, you get to watch ahead, and you get skits. We've never done a Christmas skit. We've we talked should. about it. We should. Hey, can I be we Santa? Should be, no, mm, I was gonna be you sent him to Elf. Why can't you? Why he, I have the beard? F fine. Y you just imagine Pat as Santa. Uh. Who's gonna sit on this man's lap? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. That took so long to happen. That wasn't um, me. Make you drop the remote again. It wasn't me. Oh my god. <laughs> we need to talk about Catherine O'Hara as being a national treasure for all of Canada. I love her. And the world. She is my mom. She, she is my TV mom. Well, that's awesome. I literally grew, up, TV grew up with her movies. So if she went out of town and just forgot about you, you'd be fine with it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she got this award for. Um, like lifetime achievement in in uh, in acting, and hey. she deserves it. Oh, Yay, it's happening! <laughs> 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 We've been there. I took a picture there. So what does his dad do to Ford? You guys see that meme? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does his dad do? To Ford all everybody's vacation and this house. That was a theory that like the, the wet bandits kept hitting his house because he's like a mafia kingpin. Talk boy! Oh, I have one of these! I had the yak back. Yes, the yak back. Look, oh, look at her. Yes. The pinnacle of technology. Did you see what Grandma Penelope sent you for the trip? How could you have Christmas without a Christmas tree, Mom? Kevin, what is it with you and Christmas trees? Well, decorate a palm tree. Stop, you uh, fucked up! Uh, you know. Also, everyone's had that clock radio. My mom still My has mom her. Mom <laughs> yep. Kevin, you better go put your tie on. You can't go in there, because Uncle Frank's taking a shower. He says if I walked in there and saw him naked, I'd grow up never feeling like a woman. Weird flexible, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> right back at it. Right back into it. <laughs> this man has zero shame. My Christmas tree. Look at Buzz. This motherfucker 5-0. Right? <laughs> Buzz, you the feds. He does have the cost cut right now. <laughs> Buzz is like, like, why are all these parents laughing? Right? Get your fucking kids. And it's not even that funny. Like, Buzz, you're ruining the whole show. No, he's a boom. <laughs> Oh, he, he, he flopped. Yeah, he, he, he flopped. He yeah. Rick flared, he Rick flared that shit. Buzz had it coming. Fuck him. <laughs> Those kids. Oh, oh bro. Oh, she's dead. Cuss. He was sent to the emergency room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the church. Oh, shut up. I hate him. Oh, he's uh, practicing. Uh, he's practicing. Uh, he's so he's a cop now. My prank was immature and ill timed. <laughs> Pretty gold. It wasn't that hilarious. It totally totally wasn't. wasn't that Uncle Frank, fuck you. I'm sorry. Oh, Buzz. It was very nice. How do y'all just accept this show? He's I know, on. right? That, you little trout sniffer. Oh, oh no, yeah. I'm gonna start calling you guys trout sniffers. A trout sniffer. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I did what I 
lunatic is Buzzy humiliated me. And since you're so stupid to believe his lies, I don't care if your idiotic Florida trip gets wrecked or not. Who wants to spend Christmas in a tropical climate anyway? Uh, Gangster. Yeah. I do. I'm about to. That's been good money for me. What a cheesecake. A cheapskate. What? <laughs> Kevin poured out a can of gas, lit a match, and dipped. That was, that was awesome. the best ever. I was apologized to you. But then he called me a trout sniffer. He didn't mean what he said. He was just sucking up to you. When you're ready to apologize to Buzz and to the rest of the family, you can come down. For oh, what? I'm not apologizing to Buzz. I'd rather kiss a toilet seat. <laughs> if I had my own money, I'd go on my own vacation. Alone. And I'd have the most fun of my whole life. Bet. Don't you wish last year? Maybe you'll get it again this year. Oh, <laughs> terrible words. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. The yeah. most like, frustrating part is that like, you know he's not like all the way wrong. None of the adults could be like, Buzz, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you think one of them would see through his shit. Hey, 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 How the fuck did I escape hey, prison? During so a prison dumb. riot, bro. This fucking guy, he knocks over the thing. Man, you're smart. Yeah. Yep. Always. <laughs> bro. You're <laughs> Y'all for real were about to forget him again in the car. None of us are sitting together. This time you were lucky to get on the same plane. Where's Kevin? <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this movie, I freaked out right there. What's the gate? Hurry up, it's the last gate. Kevin ain't never seen a stack before. He ain't nothing to do with it. And you did it to yourself. This is Mickey and I at festivals. This is Mickey anywhere. What? Navigator here. What? Fall behind. Wow. Mickey, you get lost like wow. just in general. I wow. around for that one. The slam. Nobody agrees you guys with you. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. I don't really I even found know. everybody at Snake Pit. You, you put me in a crowd, crowd, I'll find my way through. Name a bigger festival, bro. I will not lose people like this. Everybody here? You made it? I have to board. The plane is ready to leave. So let me just make sure everyone gets on. Don't worry, man. We'll get everybody on the Shut Don't up. ease your kit. Yeah, you didn't make everybody. sure anything. <laughs> All right. Oh. Are you on this fight? Yeah, so is my family. This is some pre-9-11 shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make sure he locates his family before you leave him. There's my dad over there. Go find an empty seat. Hey. Wow. Hey, never, right? Just, yeah. come on. If you got on an accidental airplane right now, I feel like, I don't know, you'd be There's arrested. no way to get on an accidental airplane nowadays, bro. Right? We'll check you twice. Have you ever been to Florida? I just came from France. I'm a tourist here. It's the first time. Bro, why would you assume? What the fuck? <laughs> You know the headphones phone quality was a lot shittier though. To New York? We forgot something? No, I don't think we did, but I... Oh my god, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays you would have like a group text with your family and be like... <laughs> you know what, that was very believable the way it happened. Last yeah. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Bro, you can't tell that you're visually not in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> right? You fucked up, kid. It's still cold. Burn it. Oh, my oh it's raining. Yeah. If I was Kevin, that would be the shit. That yeah. would be the shit. Here you go, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. Y'all don't give a fuck! Kevin's not here. <laughs> Facial expression though. It's actually like, happening again. Like laughing. <laughs> yeah, but that's not my end. Right? Cheese that over there. <laughs> it's New York, sorry. <laughs> I was in Florida and I'm in New York. <laughs> Straight dog. <in> it. <laughs> hey, Polaroid gang! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this dude is already just shopping away. Bro, he came straight for Roman candles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, see him last? Oh, I saw him at the door. R.I.P. Kevin McAllister's dad, that actor passed away. Oh, he did? Yeah, a few oh, years shit. back. Damn. When did you uh, notice he was missing? When we picked up our bags. <laughs> so you guys are going to jail. This has happened before. Funnily <laughs> <laughs> enough, we never lose our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh my god, I love that thing. <laughs> Your son is missing. He's like, y'all are going to super jail. Call Chicago, notify him of the situation. Yeah, that's all right, that's where he is. Very unlikely he'd be anywhere else. Oh my mm. god, you have no idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, ew, ew, ew. I love their music. Yeah. My childhood was laughing at their pain. Yes. Right? Yep. 
Just same. I don't forget the first time I saw this. We would just fast forward to the traps every single time. He was out of jail to rob 14 seconds the same clothes. Every little bit helps. Now we got our new nickname. We're the Sticky Bandits. <laughs> <laughs> the crowing. The pigeon. No. All the pigeon ladies. Oh, and not a good way. Sick. <laughs> Jesus, kid. Oh, God. No, come on. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. I think she likes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking fool. Oh, and another uh, world national treasure here. Yep. Oh, shut up. Let's go. Sees the walls kick. Trumpy Didn't help kick. him at all. Let's go. Oh, no. I'm not talking about Trump. Are you sure? Uh, Trump. Trump. Uh, Are you talking about Curry? Yeah, I was talking about Tim Curry. Tim motherfucking Curry! Yeah. Yeah. Schneider, Rob Schneider is a bell hack. Extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with the key. Oh my god, you're so spoiled. <laughs> hotel reservations may help you. Holy <laughs> There's a fucking rapist that wants to know, right? <laughs> This was the greatest product placement ever. I always wanted one. You got it. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Let's do the time warp again, baby. Hi. <laughs> what a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? Reservation for McAllister? For yourself. How can I make a reservation for a hotel room? Think about it. He's gaslighting her. I'm traveling with my dad. He's on business. He's a grifter for sure. I hate me. Plus, I'm not allowed to go in. Bro, you can lie. So my dad dropped me off here. He gave me his credit card. He becomes a professional comment in the future. Do you have a, uh, a recent photo of the boy? I have one in my wallet. Uh-oh. I don't have my wallet. Kevin mm -hmm. has my wallet. If your son has the cards, we can get a location on him when and if he uses it. <gasps> no, I don't think Kevin even knows how to use it. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> you don't count your tips in public. Find out everything you can about that young fella. You know, Herbert Hoover once stayed here on the floor. Vacuum guy? <laughs> <laughs> I love that room. I want to in a hotel room like this shit. Damn, Damn I want to be in that bathtub though. That bathtub, please. Ow. I'll take that. Oh! How convenient. You got a sweet tooth. Dude! Hey! <laughs> did you want to the bank, or did you just want to hang on to it? I'll hang on to it. You're mighty sus, friend. Well... You think he knows what a tip is? <laughs> you know where that came from. <laughs> Definitely knows what it is. He's like, no, you're not getting nothing. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock. Man, look at that pool. Wow. I know, dude. How's no one in that pool? This lady's like, he's about to splash me. I can feel it in my head. You know. Cannonball time, baby! Father, you wonder if I worked on the cannonball? Oh, yes! Like, he's a polite kid. You didn't ask her, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Angels with even filthier soul. <laughs> yes! The sequel. No one thought it was weird he just ordered cake and ice cream. Wait, that sounds good, though. Hold it right there. I can smell you from get getting off the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> and you were smooching with my brother. You've been smooching with everybody. Leo, little Mo with the Kimpy. Oh my uh, god. Phony Bad, Cliff. I could go on forever, baby. I believe you. I'm, I'm a time guy. No yeah. I'm going to give you to the comedy <laughs> to get your lousy, low down, four flushing carcass. <laughs> One. Go! God, leave, bro! <laughs> Merry Christmas! I'm filthy. I'm filthy. <laughs> Jesus! And a happy new year! <laughs> he emptied the clip of the drama. Housekeeping. <laughs> Why did he do that? Oh, it's housekeeping, y'all. Oh, well, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. Right. I don't know. If I saw all that food, that'd be evidence enough for me to be like, yeah, okay, there's some. It's all cake and ice cream. That's the most sus uh, shit. <laughs> Oh, God, that's that, like solid yeah. Goodwood, too. Oh. 
It's the <laughs> they stand at a cheap ass hotel. You figure they're the standard resort. Adult films hourly. Yeah, how come that Frank wastes all his money taking the family out, bro? They have to get the worst fucking right. motel they could afford. No, no, look at their faces. Didn't look this bad on our honeymoon. What happened? Oh, it was there on the honeymoon. Oh. Yeah. Fucking address book. My mom hey, said an address book. Mm-hmm. You're back from Paris. I'll drop in on you. Oh. Aww. Put that away. You got a vacation, kid. <laughs> wow, Pat. Aww. Your drawers. Hey. Jeez, don't flush these babies around here. There could be girls on the floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> very careful, sir. You want the tip. That won't be necessary, sir. I still have some tip left over. <laughs> Your tip? You, oh, don't tip, 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 he was pretty mad. He was. Will you be done soon? He already left. I would have liked to have offered my personal apology. This guy looked at you in the shower. Would you ever want to see him again? Oh my god, he's such a good liar. I don't think you'll see him for the rest of our trip. <laughs> oh shit. I understand. Got that okay. sorted out. He's right. good. <laughs> you don't believe him. If you got McAllister money, you got the confidence to like do shit like that. No, what are you doing? We know what he's doing, but it's real. All it would take is a simple Google search. Oops. Another reason why I couldn't work today. Maybe just the concept of being left home alone. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> my Chris. Oh, hey, shit. Pizza and a limo? Uh, yeah, is that cheese? Uh, oh my God, uh, cheese is the best pizza. Yo, that, this would be so awesome. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hello. You want know any good toy stores? F.A.L. Schwab. Yes, oh, the toy store. Dude, I want, a, I want a Coca Cola and a wine glass. Yeah. Right? And the pizza in a limo watching the Grinch. I want this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's meant to you know? I fucking knew it. Look at this. <laughs> that shot. What? <laughs> Bro, unscripted, and that pigeon took two hits to the face. It was like, whatever. <laughs> Like a scarf? You want to forget about the scarf, Marv? You gotta talk. Stores ain't gonna deposit cash on Christmas Eve. Ergo, what's the scarf gonna make? Ergo. Christmas Eve, nobody's gonna think to rob. Candy stores. He's close, he's close. Maybe, maybe. Honestly, it's not too far off, bro. Duncan's. Brilliant. Be so I know. This is the greatest action of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your mom said when you were born, too, Kevin. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. Roasted a ticket. Good job. <laughs> Why are you off? Hey, nice house. <laughs> People <laughs> see you. He just froze. Everybody leaves for a nice holiday off. We come out of our little houses and empty the registers and walk out like we own the joint. It's actually really smart. He's got a camp out there for a day. Uh, rip this guy. I don't know if he's gone, but he's pretty old here. <laughs> this movie's still 25 years old. <laughs> he's gone, but he's pretty old. This is a really nice store. Well, the farm and tour dealerships have ever visited. Tour dealerships? Mr. Duncan must be a pretty nice guy. They didn't want the kids coming to the store and play with all his toys. Most toy stores prohibit that. Or is that so? Yep. Well, he loves kicks. He's so cool. For all the money the store takes in today, Mr. Duncan is donating it to the children's hospital. The day after Christmas, we empty out all the money in the cash register, and Mr. Duncan just takes it right down to the hospital. Aww. I always thought he was Mr. Duncan. Isn't he, is he Mr. Duncan? He is. I mean, he is Mr. Duncan. Is he? Yeah, is he? Yeah, he is Mr. Duncan. Or is he just a nice man? At the no, he's Mr. Duncan. No, he's Mr. Duncan. Duncan. Give this to Mr. Duncan. Hospital needs it more than I do. Aww. So show our appreciation for your generosity. They're going to let you select an object from that tree that you can take home with you. That turtle dove. I can have two? Two turtle doves. You keep one and you give the other one to a very special person. Aww. Turtle doves are a symbol of friendship and love. Aww. As long as each of you have your turtle dove. Pigeon lady. You will be friends forever. Also, they're part of the song. They are. Same. And, and, and for that very special reason. Oh, that's why it's two turtle deaths. <laughs> See? There it is. Ah. And then he disappeared because he's actually Santa Claus. <laughs> that's him. That's that little motherfucker. Let's get him. Let's get him. Like, just assault him on the street. Hiya, pal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jesus. Oh, come on. You idiot. Oh, my God. Bro, he's a genius. 
genius level Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> he's the Roadrunner. Oh my god, he's a genius. I like how in New York nobody give a fuck. Yeah, what about like all the other people? Fuck them. Oh shit. Just they had two seconds of hang time. Just a broken He done spine. did it again. I immediately would be like, you know what? I don't need this. I just had a reminder of last year. <laughs> You're such a dick, man. Store wouldn't take your stolen credit. Bro, give me back my money and stuff. See what the police have to say about this. See, but Kevin, like, uh, go to the police, you idiot. Yeah. Well, he ran away from home. It would be safe to go to the cops. These guys are like clearly trying yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Juked him. <laughs> no, your stance. Oh. <laughs> Straight concussed, bro. <laughs> Drag him off the field. He's done. <laughs> he's working on like levels. He's like, I need food. Yeah. And he get the TV working. Like he's just. Hold it right there. This is the concierge. Sir. Yes, getting up there. <laughs> it's my favorite line. You was here last night too. Yes, sir. I was. <laughs> and you were smooching with my brother. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> with everybody. Happy, Al, Leo, Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> so disappointed. <laughs> 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 it's a lie. It's a lie. It's so funny. I'm afraid you're mistaken. We are looking for a young man. I believe you. My Tommy gun don't. I feel like, oh, shit just escalated. Tell me you love me. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I love you! Maybe I'm off my hinges. That's why I'm gonna let you go. To get your lousy carcass out my door. See, this is actually what Ryan's like. You're calling the police at this point, right? Clifton had a heart attack and shit, bro. Dunkin' Story Chest. Five floors of cash. And after that, we grab a couple of phony passports. Oh, shut the fuck up. Is the lady again? Yeah, I'm like the same Kevin's lady. Like, well, one chance. Like, why is she always here? Does she work right here? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <most> yes! <laughs> Did what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even know what's happening. <laughs> She's just like, whatever, kid, run away. Smartest kid on the planet, bro. Exactly. What a shithole. They only got one room? It's, it's the holidays with Sherry. Bring that down. It's the police. They know where Kevin is. We're going to New York. Move it. Yeah. Uh, everybody, why? 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 Also, right? Yeah, you guys go. I wonder if he'd know enough to go to my brother's. I thought you said they were renovating. Rob McAllister. Mm -hmm. Hey, he was pretty good at navigating the streets. He found it. Where are you trying to go? 34th and 5th? Where are you at? 29th and 6th? 6 over and 1 up, you simple bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Even his brother got money, bro, to be renovating a house I like know. this. That's a huge ass house in New York. Mafioso. <laughs> right? It is where this shit gets scary, though. Yeah. Oh, I hated this part as a kid. I was actually terrified. Well, it's just the homeless person, in it, but they made it look so good. Yeah, it looks like he's in Amsterdam, bro. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Lost in Baltimore. Oh, oh what is that? He's like eight. Jackson. No. Uh, it's better in here, kid. Bro, what's wrong with your eyes? Yeah. Bro, oh my, he got a scar and shit. Do you want the fare or not? That's terrible customer service. Dude, it's like I wake up and look in the mirror every day. <laughs> All right, you know. Just straight be judging adults on their physical appearances. I mean, you did that when you were a child too, bro. I, I did the same shit. I would not be going inside a park to sleep by myself. Damn, all the shitty cookie. That's bad. Oh, no, one, you're all gonna yeah, come back for birds. The and worst that. part is that there's gonna be 50 of them. Yep. In five seconds. I'm <laughs> really uh, new one. You, like, why would you come up like that? That's scary. <laughs> Very capable of talking. <laughs> like very robotic 
arm movement. <laughs> Why are you running, bro? <laughs> he has learned an important lesson in life. Just like an old man with the shovel in the first movie. All right. I'm sorry, he screamed in your face. <laughs> <laughs> He's so composed. Right? I'm Kevin McAllister. I'm Pigeon Lady. You were first. You look kind of scary. When I think about it, it's not so bad. Oh my God. Is my father in Such a polite kid. <laughs> Damn, that's scary. That's a lot. Will those pigeons come back on their own? Or do you have to call them? It's gonna get in your hair, kid. And <laughs> yeah. What is that? You're about to just it's like shit. corn seeds. Or like weed seed, seed, right? It's it's Bitcoin. Or the flock of them. It's pretty cold, though. I could sure go for a cup of hot chocolate. How about you? My treat? Oh, he's mm -hmm. such a good kid. Can we go someplace warm? I know a place. Yeah, so dope. I'd watch a whole movie with these two. It's dangerous, bro. This place is great. I've heard the words great music from here. The pigeon of the opera. You bring your friends up here? I haven't got many friends. Oh. People pass me in the street. They see me, but they try to ignore me. They prefer I wasn't part of their city. It's sort of like that with my family. I'm kind of the pigeon of the house. <laughs> I wasn't always like this. I had a job. I had a home. Well, a every place. homeless person has a story. Mm -hmm. Whenever the chance to be loved came along again, I ran away from it. I stopped trusting people. Damn. That seems like sort of a dumb thing to do. Oh, hey. Hey. You see, sometimes you can trust a person, and then when things are down, they forget of it. I don't think people need to forget. I think it just happens. Yep. I'm just afraid if I do trust someone, I'll <laughs> get my heart broken. I understand that. I used to have this really nice pair of rolls. <laughs> Kid, she's got about 40 years on you. I never wore them once outside. A person's heart and a person's feelings are very different than the skates. Well, they're kind of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to use your heart, but what's the difference if it gets broken? Uh, Damn! <laughs> Bars! Your heart might still be broken, but it isn't gone. If it was gone, you wouldn't be this nice. Do you know that it's been a couple of years since I've talked to anybody? Well, okay, this is a good practice. You don't want to wear a spit when you talk. But <laughs> you do it more often. I think you just have to wear an outfit that isn't a pigeon poop. He's so adorably ignorant. <laughs> I have been working very hard at keeping people away, haven't I? I always think I'll have a lot of fun if I'm alone, but when I'm alone, isn't that much fun at all? I didn't realize she was like actually homeless, man. I, I didn't know she was homeless either. What? You saw she's a lady who went out every day and covered herself. Yeah. I was a kid when I saw it. I was like, oh, this is her house. Yeah. She lives here. In the opera house? <laughs> <laughs> what? What you must do now is you must think of the but, most important thing that you can do for others and go and do it. I better get going. Where are you going, bro? I know. Where is he going to go? Oh, Trapped, baby. Trapped. 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 Right? He's going to a trap house. This is stars. Kevin is going to the children's hospital because he's about that violence. He's put at least half those kids in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get some his motivation. He's going to see what he's doing this for. I know. It's time to go fuck with some robbers. Kids no, you can't. Fuck them up, Kev. Why does this Do child always Fuck ignore up, that cops exist until the end of this movie? Kevin ain't no snitch. He always calls the cops in the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. He wants to get the violence done first, <laughs> goddammit. Bro, he even made a blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Hope. He is focused. Oh, that's the gooey that he bought. He, he could. Yes. <laughs> Thank Bro. you for setting up the best job. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but it's also like visceral death. It's trying to kill uh, these motherfuckers. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, every trap, every trap is a fucking felony. <laughs> also, poor Uncle Rob and his renovations. <laughs> oh my god. You The boy had a very <laughs> What kind of idiots do you have working here? The finest in New York. <laughs> <laughs> When we attempted to confront him, he ran. He scared him away. It's Christmas Eve, and because of you, our child is lost. It's actually your fault. It's also your fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is no accountability? I'm going to go down to the police station and make sure that they're doing everything in their power to find Kevin. I'm going out to look for him. With all due respect, madam, your son is lost. <laughs> oh my god, he used to sit down and not talk to me. Could you stay out of this place? Yeah. Uh, as you wish. Tim Curry is a national fucking treasure. He is. I think if our son can do it, I can do it. The way I'm feeling right now, no mugger or murderer would dare mess with me. <laughs> There are hundreds of parasites. Bruh. Jesus. I'm going to the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unreasonably excited to see these traps. Right? Like, I just want to see these two dudes get hurt. It's always such a build. <laughs> I know. Merry Christmas, Harry. I think they would put it at least in a safe at the end of the night. Oh. 
Bro, even sets up a pre-trap. They're all like single dollar bills. Like, you guys are gonna make out like 200 bucks. No, there's like some tents and stuff in there. Picture! This is it, no turning back. Murder. Christmas in the trenches. Yeah! He's Yes. <laughs> she said another Christmas in the <laughs> trenches. <laughs> it's so that fucking money. So much money so I know. Yeah, I know. They're left with nothing. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's dead already, bro. I love that he can't cuss. And he's like, we're yeah. <laughs> She just misses him here? Yeah. yeah. Wow. She's trying as a mom though, you so know? Where'd he go? Oh, I can't deal with this. He just keeps snapping <laughs> <laughs> We got busted last time because we underestimated that little bundle of misery. <laughs> this ain't his house. He ain't got a plan. Uh huh. I'm really scared. Nothing would thrill me. Mom Craig needed to shoot you. <laughs> I'll make a deal with you. You throw down your camera and we won't hurt you. It's Polaroids. He's got the pictures. You promise? I crossed my heart and hoped that <laughs> you were okay. <laughs> 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 Straight smoke. Just like, oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Test everything out, bro. Test everything out. Oh! Oh! Jeez. <laughs> and then. Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah! <Jesus>. What a hole! <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. 
brain death <laughs> a thousand times. Kevin's a domestic terrorist, bro. This is the most wily coyote out of all. Did you see the handstand? <laughs> oh, they're fucked up. they're both smoking. They wish they were both smoking. <laughs> Famous last. Oh my god. Run away, you can move, dude. Dog. You're doing this one to yourself, man. He's playing Jenga. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got upper body strength, that shit. Yeah. Oh Last year. No. <laughs> Watch this. the bad guys. I'm sorry. Do you have insurance? You don't. I'll send you someone. <laughs> if I ever get back to Chicago. Merry Christmas, Kevin McAllister. Yeah. Aww. Mr. Duncan's a bug. Put yourself in your kid's shoes. Where would you go? What would you do? All by himself in a big city. And he doesn't deserve that. He deserves to be at home with his own family around his Christmas tree. What do you mean? And where he is. I need to get to work for a I bet. I want any presents. Stay on the table. Like every mean thing I ever said to my family. I love all of them. 
Kevin? Oh, no, oh, fuck it. Oh, it worked. Shit, that shit worked, bro. Wow, what is that? The true dog has provided I'm sorry. I'm yes. sorry, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, bro. So this is how we did it. Everybody has to stay in one room. I'll pay for everybody's vacation, but we're staying in one room. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because he pees the bed. He's doing it on purpose. So he can get the whole bed. Look at how many Pepsis this guy drank. Holy smokes. It's morning. Hey guys, wake up. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas. Come on, it's fucked up. I thought you got all this stuff for free, cause they fucked up. No, uh, maybe not. Here, yeah, some stuff. The toys for free. Nice family. It's so long. <laughs> you know, actually, that's not that bad. That's, that's, not, that's not that bad. Oh, that's, that's not that bad. Street car, two ten. That's a lot just on room service, you guys. That's not that bad. We're looking at the inflation. That's like two twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> You just gonna over here assume inflation? I'm pretty <laughs> sure this was a 97. All might be generally wondering why we have on different outfits. Yesterday, outside of Mickey's house, a transformer was tripped. The neighbors say by a squirrel, who knows? But the power went out again. If you're keeping track, that means that we left the studio where the power consistently went out to come to Mickey's house to film reactions where the power was pretty consistent just for the power to go out again. <laughs> if you don't believe us and you're on some weird conspiracy theory shit and think we just suck at our jobs and we're willing to lie about the power going out, that's fine. It's also well, we'll why the footage looks like. It's also why the audio was bad for the, the traps. Yeah, the literally lighting. right when we got the traps. I don't, I don't like. I it's really just don't like. Go I, oh, you can't recover the audio, but you recover video. Yeah, because the audio splits, so like the bad. Part, I mean, I understand. Yeah, that, the bad part of the audio wouldn't even transfer. It, uh, so just like the audio file, it, all the gigs are there. It's like a two gig audio file that it won't play, but it won't even let me transfer it off the card. <laughs> it's like corrupt. Can't do it. So, sorry, all right? We understand, we're getting our shit together. We're gonna, we're gonna build <laughs> solar panels in a battery array so that nothing can keep all of our be off the grid. Yeah, we need to be on a closed loop, dude. Elon Musk is gonna be sponsoring music. Look, oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure with inflation, $967 is at least two grand. Uh, but honestly, two grand for all this shit that he did is not that bad. Are you gonna? Yeah. yeah. He was think of marshmallows and ice cream. But he had a four list of pizzas. He had a full list of a fucking invoice. That, that's not that bad. That was like six pages. Yeah. yeah. I think about it. I think I could do more damage than that, but that's because Right, I think the double damage. What, what year was it? Home Alone 2 was 1992. According to the inflation calculator, in 1992, $967 would be $1,906.35. Wow. That's not bad. That's, what? You're what? Right? what? That's like twice the amount. But no, but I'm talking about like for all the shit that he got, $2,000 is not that bad. Are you kidding so, me? He, he got a bag full of cane. Are you Cart of dessert in your room. That's cool, you're taking us all out. Yeah, I'll never bet that. I'm pretty sure they charged extra because he fooled them into thinking so that they were going to go to the percent cumulative rate. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he probably got to evacuate that whole floor. <laughs> so, <laughs> the entire residence. Like, oh my god. I'm going to shoot. So, do love the movie. I obviously love the traps. Uh, I, it's, it's just a build up to fucking these dudes up for like 20 minutes, which is great. Mm. But also, yeah. like, the, uh, the inclusion of the little lady at the end. So, yeah, Kevin, if I don't remember, you got the continental breakfast right. upstairs. Though, <laughs> she had a hot cup of coffee. She says, when, Brad, come just bring her over. It's cold out here. She got her shit on a drag, bro. I'm a pattern. I'm <laughs> so, at, at, around the fam. As a kid, the traps portion of the movie, like, uh, I think you mentioned it, like, after a certain point in time, you just forward to the traps and just watch that part. And no. I just remember, it, no. I remember it being, like, the at least to me, the majority of the movie, I thought it was, like, this, like, they, it was like sustained torture for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> they were never like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was just like trap after trap after trap. I, after I, absolutely, I absolutely love this movie. And I love this one more than the first one because I think 
the hotel staff is what like makes this place <laughs> so much better. Because then Joker. you just had the family <laughs> and then they left and that was basically then just Kevin and the and the thieves. But here you had the staff, which were also amazing. The finest in the city. So. The yeah. finest in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I just love this. I used to play the Home Alone 2 game on Super Nintendo with my brother, and they had Tim Curry over there, like in like a little eight bit graphics, yeah. like, ooh, this is the concierge. We have a Kevin McAllister. And in the game, they made Tim Curry be in cahoots with the Wet Bandits. It was nice. Uh, this, was, uh, this was a rare occasion of word like that. I think the sequel surpassed. Yeah. Them. Plus, I think that uh, they do a good job. For me, yeah. I think that like they like condensed the traps down for this one. Where, like the first really? movie, no, no, listen. Where the first movie is like we got these traps and like it feels like they're in the house for kind of a longer time, but the traps are funny. Like I think they somehow it feels like they're in their own for fifteen minutes, but yeah. the amount of hilarity is like ten times higher. The like, they, the they were able to make this shit way more funny. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the traps are more deadly. Like just starting off with like the three bricks to the face. Like, <laughs> Y'all already working four. Right? We're already working on a different level of like hilarity. Yeah, and, and there were also like a lot of follow up, like they were building on what happened in the last movie, like with the with the cans on the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were having a hand thing, he lays his own arm. Yeah, yeah. 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 This without the first movie. Plus, yeah. if we're just going by, like, I love this one. If we're just going by the title, Home Alone, it feels more Home Alone in the first one. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's yeah. like doing oh, yeah. various yeah. nights. He had the whole party going that one night, mm -hmm. so they like skipped the house. So it was more of an ongoing predicament. And yeah. This is like he had, he, he was okay. Oh, he also very specifically lured them to a place to hurt him this time. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's fucked up. He was in all of New York. It was like, no, nah, I'm going to make sure I run just slow enough that they can follow me to this place so I can. He found a trap house. <laughs> right, so I can cast them back to these motherfuckers. Uh, I think I'm going to look at the voice recorder meeting the movie, too. That really didn't play The Talk Boy? Yeah, I wish I had a Talk Boy. Really? You yeah, gave one for Christmas uh, this year, buddy. You guys ever asked your back? Yeah, bro, the yak pack was the shit. What the fuck is a yak pack? It's a yak pack. It's a yak pack. It was a yak pack. It was a handheld. It was, it was, it was a high tech. Yeah, it was like this big. You could like reverse your speech and I would try to practice. Like, I would try to like talk <laughs> into it and then like have it say it the correct way. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> silly. It was the silliest thing. Like, it plays your recording and it also plays your recording backwards. And then that's it. was like this big. <laughs> it, but it was so cool. They were so big. Uh, I so bet they cool. still make them, dude. But, I mean, you have a cell phone. You know, a walkie talkie is just good, it's so fun. Yeah. yeah. We used to have Alex Forest, remember? No. Were you up there with us when he was walkie talkie? No. Okay, oh. They, oh, were you Nikki? Uh, I don't remember. With walkie, walkie, walkie. Walkie talkie. Walkie talkie. Walkie talkie. Are they going to show me for you? <laughs> they, you can only get away with this sort of stuff in these old nineties and eighties movies, like yeah. the fourth wall breaks, the skeleton when Mars gets yes. shot, and like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. What else did they do? They, did they replace? No, they only replaced him with skeleton that one time. It was like when the mall. Oh, Joe Pesci getting blown up. Yeah, that time. yeah. <laughs> this you was, can't do that. This nowadays. was at the tail end of like the slapstick era. Because like yeah. you could still suspend your disbelief a lot with movies. Now I think like in general movies have moved towards being more realistic mm -hmm. and believable. Well, so, I mean, there's still plenty of comedies that are like. We have to watch lunch. We have to watch hot shots. I think and, there's and, plenty and of comedies. Plenty of comedies now that are still like ridiculous and like good comedy movies where you can do ridiculous shit, even like. Just stupid generalized shit, but like for this, it was because like I don't know. This is like a comedy for kids that you can still enjoy as an adult. Mm -hmm. I feel like comedies for kids now are hard to enjoy as adults, yeah. just because like they like comedies for kids aren't like this anymore, where they don't do this shit for kids now. Like it's just moved on. Plus, it's just I don't know, slapstick doesn't hit the same way it used to. Would you rough? This uh, reason, yeah, I wish it was. I would. I mean, yeah, it just wouldn't work today. But mm -hmm. that's it's, one, it's low key one of my favorite genres. I, I actually I in uh, India we get like a lot of like super old shit. Or like there was a channel that played like all the super old shows, like uh, Three Stooges, uh, Laurel mm -hmm. and Hardy, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, I like. Really I, I, I think, grew up on that shit. Yeah, well, like the Three Stooges reboot was just so bad because like that kind of slapstick doesn't work. I think yeah. there is a specific type of slapstick that can still work. Going back, maybe it's a little too far, but like Community, for some reason Pierce did a lot of slapstick, yeah. but for some reason it was it was more laughable and believable because the way it was delivered or maybe just looked more realistic, I don't know. It was like posed as being awkward and yeah. Yeah. funny and bad. And I wish I could have a comment about like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I can't watch any of these comedies and I have to in case you react to it. So. Uh, I want to no watch comment. that. Uh, you will. It's fine. <laughs> we will watch it in like 2040. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think Michelle, honestly, fuck the office. Let's watch Brooklyn. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the office. Yeah, the office is the office boring. Is fuck you guys. The office is, the office great. is great. Just yeah, boring. It's just, it's just, Been holding on to the office for so long. Well, I got the anyway, boxes still in my desk. Anyway, <laughs> this movie is great. It's even great, better as a. It was fun as a child, but as an adult, rewatch was fun because you know some jokes like, "Wow, what a hole." That really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm very immature. We laugh at him. But as a child, I was like, oh no, yeah, what the hell are you getting up there, man? Is his name Harry or is he Mark? He's no, Harry. Harry. Harry Mark. Uh, Harry Mark. Mark. His scream is so funny. It it is. Is. The pigeons were on him. He just <laughs> clears an upper room and just be like, Should we try to do something we all actually haven't seen, like the claws? I've never Christmas. seen Polar Express. I heard that was supposed to be really good. I have not seen Polar Express. I've never seen Polar Express. I've seen Santa Claus too. Luke, I've never seen Polar Express. Polar Express looks very kiddish. Yeah, I'm not Polar. Didn't it like do some revolutionary CGI or something? Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's CGI characters. Die hard than it is. Die hard. It's not a Christmas movie. It is definitely a Christmas movie. I feel like it's not a Christmas movie. The one I've ever seen is. What's the guy's name? Is it your name? No. Come on, Stan. 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 Alright, well, we'll be seeing you for at least one more Christmas flick because we ponder what that is. Remember, our patrons voted for that, so you can become a patron for the normies and help influence what we watch on the show and our content. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah! Come on, Chester, jump up here. No, jump up here, Chester, jump up here.